Likes waking up to a morning frost in May, especially some farmers. NBC 26's Jenna Bree takes us to Door County this morning to check in with a local cherry farm. Exciting as it is to see sweet cherry trees in full bloom, farmers are concerned with getting hit with multiple overnight frosts. All we can do is, is just hope for some sunshine and a little warmer temperature is not a viable fruit. Terry Sorensen so says it needs to be at least 55 degrees out to pollinate cherries. Even our bees are taking the day off and staying in the hive. He says around 20 to 30 percent of the crop at Soren's Valhalla Orchards has already been damaged because of the temperature swings. We're used to taking those kinds of losses, the big losses, just not so close to each other. One thing Sorensen says has really saved him over the past few years, this weather station, which gives him real time air temperature, rainfall and wind speed observations every day right on his cell phone. Freezing over, you can see there's other. He's also using last that... year as an indicator for how this summer will go. 2020 was absolutely crazy for us. With cherry picking being the perfect outdoor distanced activity, he just hopes there will be enough sweet and tart to go around. We were absolutely slammed. There were times where you could hardly get anyone into <laughs> the orchard here, so it was, it was incredible, and we're not expecting that to change much for this year. With the supply of cherries being unpredictable right now, Sorensen says consumers could see the price of cherries increase this summer. And he says the demand, especially for pick your own, will also only go up. In Sturgeon Bay, Jenna Bree, NBC 26.